Islamists oppose anti-child abuse law, says kids will leave religion. Okay, guys, I have some shocking news coming out of the city of the country of Jordan. Let me say things are things are bleak, okay? On September 19th, a new child's rights bill passed in the lower house of Jordan's par- parliament. The parliament is still divided over the bill. Since 2015, the National Council of Family Affairs, or NCFA, has been negotiating with the parliament to draft a national bill. The bill addresses child rights for health care, education, entertainment, and protections from forced labor, big beggary, and addiction. The, ch- uh, the law of child rights was first drafted and then scrapped in 1998. They've been trying to pass this since 1998. Despite signing the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child in 1991 and ratifying it in 2006, Jordan lacks specific child protection laws. According to the National Study of, on Violence Against Children in Jordan, released in 2019 by UNICEF, almost 75% of children aged 8 to 17 had experienced at least one form of physical violence. Opponents of the bill consider it to be an attempt by Western NGOs to degrade the Jordanian family unit. How? Dr. Dr. Iyab uh, Kunabi, Kunaibi, a prominent preacher, claims the rights bill will encourage children to leave religion and their families and live in a society of sexual deviance. Further, he claimed that the legislation is a UN-backed initiative to take Jordanian children away to be given to European families. General Secretary uh, Mogdadi rejected the claims in, that the proposed law is too Western and subverts Islam. So this... I didn't understand. Is, I'm confused. So, Consider me confused. So crazy. Wait, I have to show you this one headline. If I could get my computer to cooperate with me. It doesn't uh, seem like your priority is correct. Like, you want to leave children unprotected because god forbid they might change their religion so it's better for them to be molested and abused than for them to leave their religion i mean they basically admit they're basically admitting that children stay in islam because they're physically abused Nice. is that not what is the implication here people are like Oh, we were hit, we were abused, we were beaten as children. We don't want children to be beaten. And they're saying, no, you can't pass stricter laws around this because children will leave Islam and they'll leave Jordan. Yeah, that yeah. Like so a little for, bit of a mask off self-report. moment. Yes, yeah, self report. Yeah, if you can't discipline your child with with enough force, they could just choose. They could, try, yeah, they could, if you can't force, if you want to force your religion upon them, they might call child protective services and stuff if there is such a thing in Jordan. So that makes sense. That checks out. You want to be able yeah. to control your children even with abuse. So basically what they're saying is that we want to be able to control our children even if it takes abuse. That's what they're saying, Kyla. Yeah. I see. Openly I see. so. So openly. openly. So openly that this is the headline, Armin. This took my breath away. Jordanian MP calls for beating children in protest against child rights law. What? No. Is this satire? This is not satire. This headline is real. This is real. Hmm. In protest of this proposed child rights law that they've been trying to push since the late 1990s, let us beat our children to protest this law. The symbolic move. Let me let me say again what I saw this and I knew what we had to cover this on the news. I was like, God damn, that is bleak. <laughs> I've this is I don't have anything to say. I have no words. Daddy, why 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 are you slapping me? It's a symbolic protest, my son. <laughs> Against this because- bill that the parliament might pass. Because what? Because, because it's my goddamn right <laughs> to do so, and they're taking it away. And I'm slapping you right in the face to show them that they can't take this right away from me. Amazing. Yeah. 
A Jordanian Amazing. MP sparked controversy this week after calling for teachers to use corporal punishment against children as a last resort, saying it helped his own development and could help the current generation. The MP Suleiman Abdul Yahaya said he gives any teacher permission to beat his children. And a lack of corporal punishment has led the youth to start dealing drugs, half of them right on the doorstep of the schools. So basically, this has to go through the upper house of parliament before it can be approved. And this is being fought tooth and nail by the conservatives and Islamists in the parliament. Unbelievable. No, yeah. Again, here, let me actually bring this back up. Like, <laughs> when, you, when you are fighting for the right to beat children, and the way you try to do it is to beat children not be for the not because they did something wrong okay but because you want to demonstrate that this is your right like you are on the side of more child beating okay how could you like not see that you are on the evil side like there, if there's a good side and the bad side you're most likely on the bad side you're on the child beating side you have the lack of self-awareness is amazing. This okay, I want to give a little bit more background to what the 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 opposition to this bill is saying. Um the law faced stiff opposition from the Islamists and conservative blocs of parliament who saw it as a way of degrading family values and an imposition of Western values. What does it say about a culture when beating your children is considered an integral family value? I don't even know how to, like, I think it's shocking the degree to which violence is normalized. Shockingly normalized, if that's the case. Um, <laughs> Dia's saying anything to not modernize, anything to not align with the evil West. They're re one of the things that they're bringing forward as a way, as a reason of why you should beat kids is because they, like, bring forward the statistics of, like, the UK teen pregnancies. And they're like, look at girls, teens in the UK are getting pregnant out of wedlock. You need to beat your girls. Excuse me? Mm. <laughs> um, yeah. And um, the, the, the quote, the provisions of the law will give children great power and freedom that may push them to insult their parents and put their interests at risk, leading to the dismantling of families, said Dua Jaber, a Jordanian MP from the Bre Muslim Brotherhood Associ Associated Isla Bloc. Fun. Some MPs also saw the law as redundant, arguing that the existing laws in Jordan and international covenants it signed provided enough protections for children. And let's talk about what is on the books. What are, what are these things that they say is pro it's proficient? We got this covered. The Jordanian personal status law, which is derived from Islamic Sharia, expressly stipulates the right to a child of a stable environment, education, and health. It is sufficient to guarantee these rights. They're like, oh, don't worry, we have Sharia to cover that. Great. Just great. Okay, I want to... Oops. Just so that we don't run away from this. Uh, on the... <clears throat> so for people who say Ooh. like, oh, child people are getting pregnant, so that's why we need to beat them, okay? Look at... Um, Adolescent birth rate in women aged between 10 and 19 years old, 2016. Look at the places where that's more common. Okay? It's not in the places where they have better child protective services. Okay? It's actually happening more where in places where there's more child abuse. So your reasoning is invalid. Okay? So I think they're, I know why they're like focusing on the UK actually. If you look, UK is a little bit worse than the rest of Europe, but it's still better than your own God, at least forsaken countries, right? <laughs> like, it's still UK. Yeah, maybe UK gets more headlines compared to the rest of Europe because it's bad relative to their higher standards. Relative to your standards, UK is doing just fine. Just because they're getting more headlines, that doesn't mean they're crappy. Like if oh, they if people are fine with teen pregnancy as long as it's within the scope of a child marriage. Let's be clear. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, right. You're right. Actually, you're right. That's a good you're, point. You're like, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> they've been yes. married. Let's be clear. You're right. Actually, that's another good point. That's another good point. But look, these are these are the same places. These places where it's dark blue, girls getting pregnant as agent, like as young as ten. Okay, these are the same places where they beat their children. So, yeah, no. Your argument is invalid. I like that. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I just wanted to talk about this because I think it's important to highlight, like, I don't know. It's just so wild. Stuff like that is so wild. And when violence is normalized to that degree, I think it's worth calling out calling it out and naming it get my best-selling book why there is no god for free click on the link for it in the description